Hi guys, this is going to be for my Sagittarius and this is going to be for the week of the 5th through the 11th of February. I hope you guys are doing well and today I'm going to be using my Star Spinner Tarot Deck and to clarify I'll be using Learning Tarot Cards. Oops. There we go. So, let's see what messages we have for you. So Sagittarius, this is going to be for you. Past energy, the Ten of Swords. Painful ending. The Nine of Swords. Kept you up at night. The Six of Coins. You're balancing things now. Excuse me, the Eight of Chalices. The Ten of Chalices. The Seven of Swords. You're wishing for a happy family, enough to take care of your family, but you feel like someone stole it, or you feel like someone is gonna steal it, or maybe someone is thinking about it. And the Queen of Chalices. This is a uh, water energy. This could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. The Ace of Chalices. Ace of Cups. Outpouring, overflowing, abundance. And the High Priestess, use your intuition. Let's see, the Ten of Swords. Something romantic ended. I got the Knight of Cups. However, you feel very drained and very tired from whatever this ending was. However it ended, it just wore you out. But darlings, you need to remember that you are resilient. 
And you also need to remember, I got the devil card. Okay, so I got the king and the knight of cups. I got the um, nine of wands and I got the devil. So this is telling me that whatever ended here, it's good that it ended. It was something that was unhealthy for you. It's also, it was keeping you up at night. You're still longing for a happy family. There's nothing wrong with that. And there you are, the Queen of Wands. You got a good business head. Okay. You got good business. You're very competitive. But you also value your home and family life. So what is keeping you up? Those thoughts? Of not having the things you desire. On top of the Queen of Wands came the Queen of Pentacles. That's an Earth energy. Now these cards are neither neither they're neither male nor female, masculine nor feminine, nothing like that. Um, the queens they go within. Um, the kings they are they they act their actions, but the Queen of Pentacles is an Earth energy. This could be a Virgo a Taurus or Capricorn within your environment. Someone that you need to have patience with. I got the temperance card on top of it. Or someone that you had patience with. Because this is past energy. Me and my cards, we do this all the time. This is... <laughs> it's a conversation I have with my cards every time. Let's see, the six of coins. The ace of cups came above that. On top of that. So abundance, new beginnings, new relationships. So something in the past ended and then you started a new relationship. And you are doing some soul searching or you were doing some soul searching and you were waiting for some clarity some communication to give you new ideas. You realized you realize the truth of a situation. See what comes on top of the eight of chalices. The eight of chalices is that's the cups, okay? It's just that this deck calls them chalices. Eight of Cups. On top of the Eight of Cups came the Eight of Cups. You're thinking of moving on. Ooh. You're very disappointed. You're looking for the truth about something. However, you planted a seed and you need to, um, you, you're looking for it. You, you're, you're waiting to see it bloom. You've worked very hard and your hard work is paying off. I got the seven of um, pentacles there. Then I got the seven of swords. Hmm. Some kind of risky behavior. Or you might have an enemy that is masquerading as your friend. Look at your surroundings. See the ten of chalices. Happy family, being able to take care of your family. You have a decision to make. Hmm. The decision has to do with a contract or with a relationship. The Hierophant. It could be a marriage. It could be some kind of contract. Or it could be a committed relationship.
and the judgment card. You're looking within, you're doing some self-evaluation. Don't blame yourself, okay? And you need to forgive you. Whatever happened, we all make mistakes. Because what's coming your way, I got the Seven of Swords over here also. Trickery, deceit, lies, somebody stealing something. Somebody pretending to be your friend. On top of that, though, came the Ten of Cups. The card says marriage, happiness, family. And then here you go again, the Nine of um, Swords. You're in your head. You're in your head. You're worried, you're fearful. Why are you fearful? You have a lot of negative thoughts you need to get out of your head. Forgive yourself for the things that happened in the past. Don't beat yourself up over and over again. And on top of that came the Eight of Swords. You're feeling trapped, restricted. Why? And why is this keeping you up at night? What does this have to do with family? And the queen of chalices, there'll be some kind of change going on, probably emotionally, might be emotional. If this is not an actual energy in your environment, if it's not a Pisces, a Scorpio or a Cancer. I got the tower on top of her. Something is going to happen. It's going to cause some chaos and confusion. You're going to go within yourself. It's going to make you feel very sad. I got the five of cups. You feel you're going to feel like you're going to feel empty. But darling, you have a new beginning coming. It's going to be a new financial opportunity for you. Darlings. All right. Might be a new business. But just don't rush into anything, you know. Pay attention. The prosperity is on the way. Then the ace of chalices. You're going to have a little conflict in your environment or in your surroundings there. Some arguments, disagreements. It's really personalities that clash. But whenever you get and have an argument with someone, they say anger is a reflection of self. So there's something about that person that's rubbing you the wrong way because it's something about you. So examine that. And this person is a lover. I got the lovers on top of the five of wands. And this lover is someone from the past. You're having memories of the past. Maybe. You're thinking something about the past. Maybe you're having a struggle within. You need to use your intuition. The High Priestess is the last card here. The Emperor came on top of the High Priestess. Stability, structure. This is an older person. Um... The card says, I am my own authority. I have the will and the power to create my life's structure. <laughs> you do have the ability to do that. You just have to believe. Then I got the two of pentacles on top of the emperor. You may be feeling a little off balance financially.
you might be feeling off balance emotionally and you might want to communicate with someone. I got the queen of swords here. This is either a feminine energy in your environment, a queen, um, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or you're thinking seriously about communicating with someone in a very Hmm. In a very sharp manner, clear, precise manner. However, darlings, looks like things will be straightening out. You're going to have an opportunity, a financial opportunity. I don't want you to give up. Stop worrying. Get out of your head. There's no need to do that. You have a decision to make. Just go within, step back, go within and ask for guidance from creator, your spirit guides, your ancestors of love and light. Ask Mother Earth. Ask for guidance, ask for help and they will give you help. I love you. You take care of yourself. And I will see you soon. And remember to keep trusting you. Use your intuition. That little voice. Bye. Love you.